Hi, it's Faith. I'm here to do a quick little seated yoga stretch with you. Um, so let's just start with our chair. Sit up nice and tall. I'm scooched about halfway forward. My back is not resting on the chair. Let's just start with some shoulder rolls. So we're going to just make this a nice and easy stretch yoga flow. Give you an idea of what the silver sneakers yoga is like. Um, you do that hour or 45 minutes or so standing and seated. We're just going to do a 15 minute seated. It'll be easy to squeeze in in the morning or maybe the end of your day. Whenever you have some time. So it's just open and close. Just stretching through the shoulders. So nice and tall. Let's take a big breath up. And release. Like you're blowing out a candle. Do that again. And so as we move through these exercises, let's do that again. I want you to just go with your own breath, nice and easy, in your own flow, at your pace. All right, let's get a few more shoulder rolls back. Really relax those shoulders, press them back and down. Let's take our right arm out, sweep it across. Give a little squeeze here on the upper arm or down at the wrist, just not on the elbow. So support that. And there's Lola, kind of going to maybe sneak in here. Let's sweep that open wide and bring the other arm across. So I've got my window open here and it just got the kind of sunlight behind the clouds. So kind of my light is dark. Now here it comes. It's coming back out. It's using some natural, nice light. It's really a beautiful day here. Let's bring that down and let's sweep it up again. This time, come down and grab the back of your chair. You have something to hold on to here. And press forward, just stretching through the chest and your shoulders. Hold on to the seat of your chair or the side. And let's pull here. Let's sit up tall. This time let's sweep it up. And pause here and then palms out and push it down and a little twist to the right. Let your palms come back center. And just press it down to the left. Let's do that at your own pace. With your own breath. So sweep up and then exhale and push down. Let's meet back in the center. Hands come center, roll it down. Let's just take our arms and we're just going to sweep it up. And then a little sweep down and pinch forward and squeeze under the legs. And roll it forward, sweep up. And a little roll forward arch and get back and around your thighs. Just a little bend forward. One more. Sweep it. And let's come up center. Put our hands on our thighs above our knees. We're going to do a little seated cat cow. So inhale and roll the shoulders forward. Look down. Kind of suck that belly button into the spine. And then exhale, release. Look up in this little arch in the back, and you can just, if that's not comfortable on your neck, to stretch and look up and just look forward. So repeat that. We'll inhale and exhale, release. Again, go at your own pace. Just a little stretch and release through the back. As always, if anything causes you any pain, Back off from that, make a modification. 
come back to a seated mountain pose. Let's do one more each way. And release, look up. And come back center, a little shoulder roll. Let's take our hands down. And this time, let's just sweep them up by our ears and sweep it down and back. Let's just sweep it up. Stretch, release down. One more up and release down. Again, get a nice roll. Let's take our right foot, scoop back a little here, extend that out, flex the toes up, sit up nice and tall. You can support yourself on your other leg above your knee, hinging at the waist, come forward. And you can take those hands in. Stretch, reach down your shin or maybe towards your toe. Just hold that stretch. Let's bring it back up. Bring that knee in. Let's give it a little squeeze here. Point and flex the foot. Just a nice little stretch and warm up through that shin and ankle and circle. Maybe change the direction. Let's set that down and go to the other side. So extend it out, flex the foot, bring the toes up towards your face, up nice and tall, and hinge forward. So keeping my back nice and straight, my head in line with my spine. You want to just kind of look out towards the floor. And you can bring those hands to your shin and slide it down. Reach for your toes if you can. And hold. Let's come back up. Lift that knee in and give it a little squeeze. Again, point flex the toes. Stretch here and circle the ankle. Change the direction. So nice and tall. Let's do a seated eagle pose. So step nice and tall. I'm going to give you several options here. So. You can start by taking your right foot and you might just cross it at the ankles and stay right here. Just have your ankles crossed. Or you might bring it up and over. And to get your legs in the full eagle, wrap that foot around the back of that um, calf on the other, other leg. So nice and tall. So you choose the option on the legs. And then with the arms, you could stay right here. Or you'll take the opposite arm, so take your left arm under the right, and you can bring the back of your hands together, drop your shoulders down, relax, kind of lift the elbows. Or if you can't get your palms together, that would be our seated eagle. So let's hold this here. So just keep breathing. So don't hold your breath. Just breathe through it. Feel a nice open through the shoulders. Nice, tall in the spine, hold everything tight, the core is tight, good posture. So really squeeze the legs, the arms, squeezing everything together here, and go hold. Let's untwist the arms. Untwist the legs and just kind of shake that out. Shift your weight a little side to side. Roll the shoulders down. Just take a little foot stretch there. And we'll do that on the other side. So again, nice and tall. So bring the other leg to wherever you did on the other side. Wrap it around. And then take that opposite arm and match the arms that you did on the other side. And let's just breathe, try to relax. Hold everything nice and tight. You can close your eyes here. That, um, 
doesn't uh, make you wobbly with your balance and just relax. Again, just kind of open and close, shake, shake it out. And then let's come back to center here, sit up nice and tall. Let's take our right leg and we're gonna come to a seated pigeon or a figure four. So if you can get your right ankle up above the knee on that thigh, foot is flexed. If not, again, it could be right here or it could just be crossed. So, Sit up nice and tall. This is a great hip opener. So you can stay here or to intensify the stretch a little bit. On our next exhale, let's just hinge forward a little, straight back, just hinging forward. And look down. Hold, keep this foot nice and flexed. We'll hold here for a few more breaths. Let's come back up center and then take your left hand over to this knee and a little twist rotation. Look over your right shoulder. And exhale, come back to center. Let's take your right hand to the bottom of the foot or the outside of that thigh and look to the left. Back to center. Let's take one more hinge forward. And if you can go a little deeper this time, just not to the point of pain, the stretch should feel good. Let's come back up. Let's set that foot down. Let's take your other leg and take it to wherever you did on the other side. Nice and tall. Flex the foot if you have it up here. And your thighs. Nice and tall. And a breath in and exhale and hinge it forward. over to that knee and a little rotation, look over the shoulder. Exhale, come back to center and take your left hand to the bottom of the foot and look over that right shoulder. Back to center, so nice and tall. Let's hinge forward one more time. Go a little bit deeper in that stretch here. Let's hold. Come back up. I want to show you a seated warrior. So we're going to turn our knees to the left. Under that left thigh, drop this leg down. Let's take it back and out straight. So now my toe on this back foot is um, our point pointed, the toes are pointed forward. I've got all my weight supported here. These toes are out. So nice and tall, really push through that outer edge of that heel. Let's take our arms out wide, relax, our, relax the shoulders down. My hips are forward, and then let's just look out over our fingers, and this would be warrior two. So let's just hold here. We're going to do a, just a little flow. So on the next breath in, 
Lift the palm, reach it forward, and reach up. So nice and easy. Go where it's comfortable for you. This is a reverse warrior. And we'll release it back down to warrior two. And then bring this arm down to your leg. Reach this arm up and open it up. If you can look up or look forward, whatever is comfortable on your neck, it's an extended side angle, just stretch it up. Supporting yourself on your forearm, above the knee, and back to warrior two. Hold that. Let's bring that in. Let's come our leg center, and let's turn it to the other side. So get all your weight supported on your right hip. Reach this foot back. Toes are pointed right front. These toes are out. Hips are forward. So get nice and secure on your chair, and then drop your shoulders, extend the arms out, reaching wide, look over those fingertips, warrior two. Let's take a breath in and reach and flip the palm and sweep it back and up. And hold here for a breath. Let's bring it back down to warrior two. Relax the shoulders. Bring that front arm down on your thigh and stretch this arm up. Really kind of open up the chest. Look at the ceiling if you can. Whatever's comfortable for your neck, hold. And then let's pull it back to warrior two. Hold here for your breath. And let's bring it in, bring that leg in nice and easy. And then let's sweep it up. And really like blowing out some candles, blow it out, do that again. And one more, do the breath. Pull it down center, relax your shoulders, sit up nice and tall. Thanks for joining me for a quick little 15 minute yoga stretch and we'll see you again soon. Have a great day.